Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Farmer and here playing as the growing naval power of Portugal. I say naval, of course, because we are expanding overseas and stuff. Um, so currently we are involved in a war in Africa. It um, versus Soyo and Cuba in hopes of gaining some of these lands in Africa to put into trade companies. Trying to get at least the estuaries on the coast. Now, actually, I'm curious about something. Oh, that's frustrating. Look at that. The center of trade here is actually outside of the trade region, so I can't actually really take and use it properly. Um, hmm, slightly frustrating. Okay, things to remember. Uh, other than that, our expansion into Mexico is going well. I'm actually going to use a piece of advice here. One of my subscribers threw me, which thank you for that. I always I forgot that I could do that. And, well, I forgot to do it. And I'm going to send some missionary strength over to Mexico to help convert it. Because clearly they are not doing so at a rapid enough pace. Um, They've done a, actually they haven't done any. That's all me. Okay. Uh, and other than that, our colonists are working away, and we are unable to march deeper into Africa at the moment. Uh, let's see. Just looking down, any chances of inherit inheritances? It doesn't look like it. Savoy really would be the only one we could try for. Um. Brittany might have a 60-year-old ruler, but upon death, France is going to take them over. So, no point to trying for that right now. And uh, it looks like probably we're going to end up kind of waiting here until I can get what I uh, military access further. Or even maps. I'd really like maps, but no one's willing to give them to me. First of all, no one seems to know who I am. Which is also annoying. So we'll wait and then we'll probably attack these guys once we have a high enough war score. Ooh, good culture conversion. We're also getting closer and closer to a reform. Uh, we're going to take obviously the maximum absolutism. Ah, this colony's done. Good, good. Uh, that one's arriving, so we'll send this one there. And if we've done this correctly, which I think we have. Yes, yeah, so we're going to beat the English to Colonial Colombia. We'll have Colonial Brazil. We're working on Colonial La Plata. And the only next target we have to do is go get Colonial Peru. And then we will control all of Central and South America, according to the Pope. Um, whether or not the AIs actually continuously abide by the Treaty of whatever it's called. Oh, I need a colonizing product. The Treaty of Tordesillas, but Tordesillas, I have no idea how to say it, so it's my best guess. Also, thank you for the person who informed me uh, Rio, La Rio de la Plata is River of Gold, sort of like River of January. That's awesome to find out. Makes a lot of sense. Silver mines are a thing in that region. And these guys still refuse to surrender. Uh, they're getting closer. Eventually, because I control all their land, they will surrender. It's just a matter of time. Uh, that was completion there. Okay. Just trying to think of where the next best place to colonize is. Probably through here. We're going to need another two down there to lock that region in. Might as well get this one and then probably that one which then should allow us to expand up the uh, Inca line of buildings and everything. Yeah, once we own this, we can get a Congolese ambition thing done, which will be cool. Brazilian dominance is slowly shifting in our favor. Apparently I have to smash some of these rebels, though. A Congolese separatist. Interesting. So Congo... Probably dead, from what I understand of their complete collapse, but... 
Oh, these guys are so interested in the war now because I lost control of that province. How frustrating. Hey, we've converted the Mexican province to Catholic. Let's give them another hand. The more we convert for them, the less trouble they'll get into in the long run. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 okay. Now I'm understanding some of the benefits of this. Okay. So I can, I forgot that I could put these orders into countries in the New World. So I'm probably going to do the Dominicans because as great as the base taxes, the New World contains mainly uh, provinces that have good trade stuff. Although if I do slave, it does replace it. Interesting. Okay, so let's develop some of these lands for them. Don't own all that state. Don't own all that state. I think that's all we can do. Okay, so these provinces just got a nice boost in uh, development and production. So let's see how much this grows, actually. Curious. Wow, over one gold. Okay, we should probably do roughly the same to Brazil. Um, we don't actually own all of any of their states, though. Okay. And we don't own any of the Caribbean, I don't think. Okay. Good to know. Just got to double check it all. Uh, that's kind of cool that I can do that, though. And I thought, I assumed very naturally once I lost control of the province, I couldn't meddle in it anymore, but it turns out I could have. So let's still be unable to find a way to expand. This is getting frustrating. We have no idea what's in there. We can march into this province and that's it. Uh, if we give it long enough, eventually we will win, but still not fun waiting. Let's upgrade what provinces we can. The more production and power we get, the better. This boy, Castile desires a ton of my lands. Probably because I took all the Caribbean ones. And ruler has died. Rest in peace. Hopefully we get a new heir shortly. Um, let's royal marriage. Where's the English first? There we go. I trust the English a little bit more than the Spanish, to be honest. Uh, they're not the worst ones, but still. These guys that take economic and offensive. I need you to take religious. They may never take religious. Okay, well. They're half a decent amount of money. They have a small army in the region. And our fleet is just getting larger. Day by day, the fleet grows stronger. And Castile's influencing the Castilian West Indies. Interesting. And Morocco, once again, is unhappy. Um, they hit the rulers, I guess. Okay, um, still don't want to surrender. Actually, now they do. Okay, good. Full annexation. We are going to convert these provinces. We are going to inevitably suffer revolts. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, do that. These guys still don't entirely know where or what I am, so... We'll let them figure that out while we core the other one. Jesuit order. Nice. 
We are now over 100 popple influence, so I will snag a stability. That tends to be the best one. You've got over 100. Saves you quite a bit of admin power in the long run. Although the mercantilism one is rather handy as well. Oh, I should probably see if I could upgrade any centers of trade. There we go. Start with that. That should boost my trade power in that node. Fair amount. Uh, there we go. Army's going to deal with that problem. 406. That's a good air, but despite the zero in the middle. 10 air. I guess it's about on par with what my ruler is. Uh, we'll take the maneuver, because that's always useful. Version, core construction, all going fairly well. Once we get these two provinces converted and stuff, then I'm going to push a bit further. Um, huh. Just so it orders... And we'll try to appease them a little bit. We are behind in admin power, so catching up, getting free monarch points, going to be worth it. people, more taxes. Oh, they were forced to revert or reform the emperor. Interesting. How does that look? <laughs> Pretty much everybody is uh, Protestant. Small exception right here for the emperor. No wonder they're struggling a bit. The Pope is on the rise in Italy. Hungary is falling. Venice has been reduced. Poland is a mess. The D Danish are doing very well. Very well. Always interesting to see what's happening in the rest of the world. Hmm, darn. Castile has stole the cape. I've got to get a colonist down there. Oh, wait, I have a colonist. What am I doing? Uh, okay, we'll send that down there. We'll contest the cape a bit. We, I mean, we don't need to control the entire cape. I just set our trade thing. It's really good. <laughs> we still have to get it, though. Um, penal colony, sure. Anything that gets me another colonial nation faster will be useful. Guys, not colonizing anymore. Huh. Interesting. They don't actually seem to be colonizing anything. These guys are definitely colonizing things. I wonder, can I culturally convert my subjects' lands? No, I can't. Interesting. So, despite being able to convert Rio, they're not. Like that. Uh, our wife is having an affair. Uh, the queen is having an affair, so let's execute that guy. Replace him. Should have known better. I mean, as in he really should have known better. Um, another center of trade. Advancement of religion. No. We don't need conversion power that much. Uh, France has finally made it to Guinea. Hello, France. Cheaper to develop that land. I'm not going to, though. Still converting, still coring. Nothing to culturally convert. We're getting close to printing press. 
which is going to be a slight pain for us because we're not going to get it for an age. Anyhow, we're going to go with maximum absolutism plus five. Obviously, if we're going to conquer lots of lands as Portugal, as I hope to do, we need power. Okay. I really want to move out and attack, but there's just going to be inevitable revolt revolts there. Well, maybe I attack and I come back and squash the rebels. I think I could probably win. Uh, go for Gabon. Yes, yes. Once these are sieging, we'll do a quick naval barrage for dirt cheap. And then we move up to here. Get full effect from blockading. Get up in tech a little bit. We outnumber the people we're fighting. The question is, do we outnumber them with my army that's here, or my army, or my colonial nation and vassals' armies that are up north? We do have a tech lead on them. Quite a few, quite a large tech lead, actually. So be careful. Um, we settle our chance. Okay, we're learning a little bit more about this region now, where people are. These guys were marching all the way up to take those provinces. That's what they do. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to finish coring, but we will be able to convert one of them. They called divert the mercen and the missionary to Africa, uh, to uh, Mexico again briefly. And we do not have military access to this guy. Ask for military no access. Thank you very much. Oh, there's another country in here I haven't run across yet. Curious as to who that is, actually. Now, let's go eliminate these guys from the fight. Cuba has arrived with a single regiment. Thank you, Cuba. No, you really won't be able to do much. Probably going to lose control of some of these provinces and have to reconquer them, but eh, that happens. Shame I can't do a naval barrage this far inland. I have to take out these two provinces and then they should leave. Speaking of provinces and armies, I really should start. I'll pay my fleet size here. We are kind of doing so, but I need I want more troops on the field, and the big one of course is more cannon. Okay, there'll be a revolt here soon, which is actually okay in my mind. My mind. Why did I say my minds? In my mind I did it again. In my mind it would seem to be good. because I could easily recapture these provinces. We are obviously going to take the next mill tech over taking the next military idea unless something drastically changes because military boost is too useful to ignore. Uh, let's piece this guy out. There we go. Oh, okay, that actually orphaned my army. Interesting. And annoying, but that's what happens. Um. 
guess I could take that mission. I kind of don't want to until everything is under control. Oh, uh, let's convert another African province. Uh, sorry, Mexican province. What is up with me today? I have no idea. Mine jumping every which way in every direction. We'll take out this guy and then we should be able to march back. And we also should get our next colonial nation. Hopefully. Um, I will send another colonist that way just to help them a bit. Oh! Wait a second. Oh, it hasn't finished. There's still one more here. Okay. For some reason I thought we were done. Okay, that should be enough there. We need... What happened to... Uh, did I not... I forgot to send the stupid colonist again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Okay. Keep forgetting I have to do it a certain way. Every time I forget. We have a serious issue, actually, with Portugal. We do not have any manpower. I mean, I guess we're not entirely meant to, because a lot of Portugal's strength comes from uh, mon uh, just having income, so maybe I'm supposed to use a lot of mercenaries. Anyhow, the Triangle Trade has fired, which gives us a good amount of money, but unfortunately makes us the one of the biggest slave traders in the world. Not happy about that, but what can you do? Um, we'll enhance those provinces. Actually, we'll enhance all those provinces. Then we're going to have to go take out those separatists before they get their independence. On the other side, Mexico is getting converted to Catholicism. Some of it is Portuguese, the rest is not. These guys are colonizing fairly efficiently. I think our, one of our next wars will be to take out the remaining natives in Brazil. Uh, that should be a reasonably easy war now. Oh, come on, Morocco. Really, of all times, to get annoyed. We have a slight issue in that our legitimacy of our rulers is not recovering. It's getting, like, worse every generation. Not a good sign. I don't even know what we're losing legitimacy from. We don't have a lot of it, though. Okay, well, we got Colombia. Which is a good start. That means England will be slightly less likely to colonize this area, or at least slower, because they already are getting in a colonial nation. Uh, let's move you back to there, piece these guys out. Oh, now it's just a matter of taking out the rebels and reoccupying that fort, and we should win that war. Sadly, we are entirely out of manpower. Uh, I think it's time to raise a couple mercenary regiments. That way some of my uh, manpower will survive some of these wars. Oh, they're going to lose that fight. Attack a tr across a river into a defense an army with defensive ideas. Doesn't tend to end well. And we'll get the Spanish square. Although if we get to it first, is it really the Spanish square or is it now the Portuguese square? I'm curious. Oh, Spain beat us to it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just quick win this war and then we'll probably stop. I think all we'll have to do is just occupy those two provinces, which shouldn't be that hard. 
And then unfortunately we're gonna have to wait a little while as our um spin power recovers. I don't know how many more troops I can raise, but mercenaries are gonna have to be a part of any future armies. I am kind of curious as to how the game is going to change next year when they, uh, um, oh, sh great, um, how much the game is going to change next year when they're going to get rid of infinite mercenaries, because that's a the thing they're going to change, so mercenaries will no longer be infinite troops. They're going to make fighting in the, some of these areas and conquering the world a lot harder, um, A lot harder. Uh, with that. You're already converted, so I should just be able to add you to the trade company. I've got to go back to Tangiers briefly to suppress the noble rebels who gain control of it in my army's absence. I'm not about to give them Tangiers because that's the center of trade, which means we, they would reduce the trade power in that area. Plus, this will give us a good point to pick up our rest of our army up there. Troops. Okay, I can actually train quite a few more troops if I need to. Oh. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I don't actually have enough transport ships for all my units yet. Um, the spy master works even harder. Where is my fleet? Thank you. Move it. Stop them from taking over that whole area, if you would. Oh, Morocco's on the case of reoccupying. And is coming to the aid for the final victory. Thank you, Morocco. See, I knew there was a reason to keep Morocco around. We can move 30 troops. Roughly how many we have. There we go. We gotta go pick up. Oh. Okay, we're actually gonna be short, aren't we? Well, we might have to wait a little bit. Okay, well, that will be it for this episode. We've squashed that revolt. We're getting more provinces in Africa, cored and converted. We'll add this all to Trade Company. Um... We are dominating the trade node already, but obviously the more we can get, the better we are, better off we are. We still actually control almost half of the Seville trade node, despite uh, Castile's size and power. And our colonial nations are actually colonizing, mostly. I don't know. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're colonizing. So uh, that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.